Now what? How was it home? Hell, mum sung me to sleep. You're the only person who can make being sung to sleep sound like water porting. Cinefilos, estoy aquí con Emilia Clark y Henry Golding de la nueva película Last Christmas. How are you guys? Good. Good. Very good. I'm good, thank you. Hey, I'm very good. How are you? I'm, I'm really good, thank you. Last Christmas, more than being a love story, it's absolutely relatable to so many people in different ways. For me, it was more like a story for those people who feel like a mess and now are finding their way to go back on track through yeah. love and fate. I want to know what does this movie mean to you? Well, I agree with you. To me, it, it's you know, it, it is a love story. It's a romance, but it's also about one woman really getting her life back together uh, that you know has, has fallen apart. And so there's a real redemption to this. You know, we use the song "Heal the Pain" a lot, and this is really about how somebody heals their pain not only in their own life but their relationships with their family. For for me, there's a number of reasons why it spoke to me. I mean, the overall sense of it being the main message in this in the story being that of acceptance and self acceptance acceptance and love and a kind of unity and a sort of looking at your neighbor and um, showing them love. It kind of, that really, really, really resonated with me, especially in the current political climate. It was great to have a movie that tapped into that a little bit. And then obviously Kate's had some rather big medical history and so have I. Uh, so there are a number of things that I could relate to in that in that sense because it happened to us at the same time. Mm. So there were lots of lots of really bigger meaning things that I could relate to. And then the fact that Emma Thompson and Greg Weiss wrote the script just sort of instantly <laughs> puts it in another level, in another sphere. Now, in some ways, Kate does struggle with a little sort of mental health. Like yeah, she's, she's yeah. kind of down in the dumps we and depression, sure. depression is, is so rife especially in our society, it's kind of a reminder perhaps to check in on your loved ones. That's it. You know, and, and yeah. to sort of yeah. maybe give them that little bit of hope and, and, and kind of attention perhaps and mm -hmm. give them a new lease of life. It is it's a, a reminder that, you know, we forget to look up, we forget to look around, we forget that uh, connectivity with real people with each other is much more important than looking down and you know trying to keep up with the next message or the next this or the next that. Um, it's about the heart. I think, first of all, if you can't love yourself, you can't love somebody else. And it has to start from you, but not as a selfish reason. Because if you're not happy, how do you expect to sh share happiness? Alcohol? Oh, oh she's drinking while. like the pirate. Vina? Bloody hell. Baby! Jenna, hey, it's me. Listen, I just really need a bed for the night. Just a... Hey, Al! This is my little helper. I have nicknamed her Lazy the Elf because she appears never to work. That's me. One of the biggest surprises from last Christmas is, is that we get to hear you sing. Hey! hey. Yes. <laughs> how was it having the mission to carry this little tribute to George Michael? But I love Last Christmas. Like I love the song. I've always like. It you know, sounds it's not like number one. That's There's a campaign to mental. get it this number, year. Number one. To we number absolutely one. should. We have that's to do exactly that. what we should do. <laughs> but yeah, it's always it's always been my favorite Christmas song. Like always, and people think that I'm just saying that's pro midi, and I I genuinely am not. I love it. Um, but the beautiful thing was when I got into the recording studio to 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 record it for the you know because we need it for, for the movie as well as singing it live. Then suddenly the lyrics for Kate just made such beautiful sense. Mm. So so it stopped being a sort of, um, I'm doing it for George, and it became a, George has given me an opportunity to speak some truth for Kate. So it was sort of that way around, which made it a little bit less stressful. <laughs> a little bit less pressure. Last Christmas gave you my- Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, uh, sorry. No, 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 it was, it was shit. <laughs> Emma Thompson is well known for being more than an actress, who's a writer and producer, and she's amazing at it. And you have these explosive ways of telling comedy. How was it working with her and making this mix work? It was fun. I mean, you know, the script she wrote was so great. It really had all the elements in there, and then we were able to go like, oh, let's actually take these and expand these and have fun with this. And, uh, you know, I had particular fun with her character of playing the mother because, you know, we knew that part could be very funny. It's also, you know, has a lot of drama to her, but she could be the funny one because she's the one with no filter. It was especially fun finding the finding the funny comedy moments for her. Um, one of the other characters, well, it's not a character, it's more like a place, is the jewel, the jewel store, the mm -hmm. Christmas store where Kate works at. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a home for very weird Christmas <laughs> decorations. Yes. If you were the evil mind, the creative mind behind this, 
Christmas operations, we can call them, and you have to create the most bizarre Christmas ornament, what would you do? <laughs> it's it's hard to say because literally when we were putting everything in that store, everything's been come up with. I mean, like loaves of bread and shoes and robots and, and, and pastries. It's crazy. But uh, what I, I would, uh, I'm, I'm a martini man, so I think I would do a, a nice martini, a Christmas martini with a, with a candy cane coming out of it. Oh. There were some winners there. were already there. some pretty, there I mean, Jesus like with teeth. And, That's and the, yeah. Robots. Robots. Squids. There were Futurama robots, I think. There were like there were, yeah. oval squids. And, and um, the weirdest. What I do? I mean. It's endless. The choices yeah, are endless. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. The possibilities <laughs> are endless, definitely. Oh God, I think already our production designer did like that. They, they take the trophy right away. I mean, it was like, honestly, when we looked at it, we were like, how can anybody even come up Why? with something like this? It was like the butcher with the pig and, the, and Santa, and you go like, what is the connection? No, I couldn't. I have to leave it to the pros. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for talking to me. I had so no, much fun. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you. you too, thank you.